Okay, Nintendo just released new Splatoon 3 footage, gameplay footage, and the release date for Splatoon 3. I'm really excited, and I was able to record my reaction to it, so I'll let you watch that, and I'll get back to you. Okay, okay, what could, what is this? What is this? Whoa, wait, 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 there's banners on the side? What? Okay, okay. Is this gameplay then? Is this gameplay? Is this gameplay? Okay, they're going in. Oh, the UI actually looks really good. I actually really like the look of that. Look at this. The top, the UI on the top. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of how the, the Octos look, but... Yeah. Oh wait, look. The, the spectator mode it looks like. See the little pink thing on the side? Whoa. Okay, now there's there's a lot to unpack here. Crab. Crab special up there. What on earth is that sub weapon? Whoa. Okay, I I have no idea what that is. The tricycle. Whoa. Okay, that that is overpowered. Nah. That that they're gonna need to tweak that. Uh let's see. Is that the first time someone's died from a first person view? What is that subs? What on earth is that special? What on earth is that special? It's, does he use it? He's using it. What? Is this like a vacuum thing? Is he sucking up ink? That's weird. Is that electric ink? That I don't even know how to react to that. Okay. That. That. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's got the, uh, the Spider-Man one. I forget what that's called. Look at that. That seems so finicky to use. I, I don't even know how to write. This is, this is insane. I, there is so much stuff going on. Um, okay. The Splattershot Pro. I like to see it. Crab Special. Uh, I think we've seen it before. Yeah, we've, we've definitely seen it, but not much. Oh, wait, it's overheating. It can overheat. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's just it running out. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Um, oh man, what, he, they, they, he's got that sub-special as well, we, we need to see what that is, we need, that's what that is, what, is that like a dart, whoa, the, the killer wheel, it looks kind of, it actually looks balanced, never mind, N no, are you kidding me, that is, that, that looks way too big. There, there wasn't even a warning that it was gonna. Maybe there was. I don't know. I'll have to look at the back. The bubbler, it can. You can damage it. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Look, it's more of those weird dart things. What on earth are those dart things? Three of them? Man. Okay. Okay. This spectre mode looks so good. You, you're, you're gonna be able to record so much good stuff for that. Let's see here. Um. Okay. And not more of the first person Spider-Man pop. I, I apologize. I do not know what that's called. Grappling hook? No idea. Squid roll. I saw squid roll. Another one. And this. Squid roll looks really good. Uh, m more of that other power up. More, more of that special. That looks really insane. I don't even know what to say about that. Okay. Okay. Let's game over screen. Finish. Whoa. Okay. Look, wait, look how fluffy he looks. What is this victory screen? This looks so weird. Medals? You can get medals now? This and this victory screen looks insane. What on earth? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, okay. Okay, so that was my reaction to it. Uh, but I do just want to go back through the trailer and see a few things. So, certain things I noticed uh, that stood out to me is at the start, there was these little name tags. And it looks like you can get a banner pattern to it and customize your name tag, which looks very good. And there's also a little uh, phrase at the top of each uh, banner and it seems to be some sort of I'm not sure like uh, it's either randomly generated by how you play maybe your weapon or it's little words you can collect that you can put together uh, in your title and the thing the thing that stands out to me most 
is there's this little tiny code at the bottom of each name tag. And this likely is used in matchmaking and adding friends and stuff like that in Splint. And that is huge. Because that means that's gonna make um like adding friends and playing with people so much easier. That is gonna be so good. Another thing I noticed while watching the trailer was this new sub weapon. Now I, I'm not sure what I think about it because I'm I'm genuinely not entirely sure how it works because you never actually see someone from a first person view use one. But there are these little tiny like darts or throwable things that like they go really fast and then sink into the ground near people and then just wait for a wee bit and then explode. They don't look overpowered, but they they also do seem very powerful. One of the big things I saw though, I do just want to point out, one of the big things, there's a whole new, there's actually multiple new specials. Now, I have no idea what to say about this one. Uh, just, you know, you know the one, um, this almost looks like a hoover that like sucks up a ton of ink into like a backpack. Hold on, I need to see, does it actually suck up the ink? I don't know if it sucks up the ink or if that's just an animation to to say that it's like charging up, but it, it collects just such a big amount of energy and then just sends a concentrated blast of what looks like electric ink. I don't know why it's electric ink. I don't know if that's special in any way. I don't know if the electric currents go through a certain radius of ink and anything in that gets damaged, which would be a cool and unique uh, thing because the actual blast of that machine, uh, that special, actually doesn't look that powerful. So it, they might uh, make something like that to make it a wee bit better to come on par with some of the other ones. But we finally saw the grappling hook really being used from a first person view and I think it looks really hard to use. Maybe that's just me, but whenever you see him grappling onto a very thin pole, uh, it's either one of two scenarios. He had to aim at that pole and then shoot at exactly the right moment to pinpoint exactly where to shoot, or the other hopefully more likely scenario is it slightly auto-grabbed onto it in a way that it's he may not have shot exactly at the pole but it may have hooked onto there anyway we also see the crab special overheating and i i just think that's a nice little bit of detail uh to show that it's running out of uh, charge and it's it's a little it's a good wee indicator to see when it's about to run out. Now there is another special. There is the, uh, the ink strikes. You seem to get three of these, okay? And while you can't necessarily aim where they go, that's three whole like tornado-sized blasts that you're sending, and that seems really overpowered and. By the looks of it, those blasts are being sent relatively quickly. You're able to go into a little corner, send three of those in about a second or two, and then continue on. There's a very small window to anticipate it coming, and I just don't feel like it's enough, so I'm not sure about this. This seems like very unbalanced, and I don't know how it'll play in with all the other specials and weapons, but this one is something to be wary about. Also, if you look at the top of the screen, at the top left, there's this little pink camera icon. And this makes me think that you're able to, to be in a proper spectator mode. And it'll track players, you can switch between players, and it'll be a lot better than anything we've had previously in Splatoon. As well as that, on the victory screen, you see Judd and Lil Judd. However, Little Judd looks surprisingly furry, uh, a lot more than in Splatoon 2, and as well as that, he looks also a little bit more cream-coloured. He does not look like how he looked previously, 
And so I don't know if this is anything to do with um, the furry Octarians. I would doubt it, but also, who knows? Stemming off from the victory screen though, at the top of the screen, once uh, the percentages have been finalized, these weird symbols and just signs and logos and all sorts of things just drop down from the screen and just rain down. I'm pretty sure this is just a nice little decoration. What, what I don't know is whether or not this happens each battle you win. Because that, that seems like a special event almost, so I'm not sure what to say about that. But after that, we have the whole team displayed at the end. And it is a really, really good victory animation. And I actually really like it. I prefer it to the previous two games. But something that really sticks out to me is, when it, is where it says, you got a medal. Now, there's three medals this player has got. Number one, overall splatter. Number one, popular target. And number one, enemy splatter. I don't know what these medals do. I don't know if you co can collect a certain amount each game and perhaps exchange it for some sort of reward at the end, uh, which would be a cool incentive to try hard, but at the same time, I don't know what type of rewards would be exchanged for that. Now, the final bit, at the very end, there is the release date. Now, unfortunate news, it does not come out in summer. It is one month after summer, on the 9th of the 9th, the 9th of September. This is a little sad, uh, we're gonna have to wait a little bit more, and I, I would have enjoyed it to come out in summer, but uh, I can we, we can all hopefully wait just a wee bit longer, however, I, I do think that is a little sad. Uh, this is like, this seems like a final and proper release date and I am looking forward to it.